beautiful start to a morning is a fresh pair of socks. Makes my day so much better. And I'm very much looking forward to today. Lots of updates for you guys. Let's get into it. Okay, update number one. This ball is, if not by far, the best purchase that I've ever made for my foot health. It was like $8 at a local running store. It's really early, I should probably shut that for my, you know, my wife. Anyway, so this ball is incredible. I do it every morning. Toothbrushes like these that are electric often have the 30 second mark. So you go 30 on the bottom right, 30 on the bottom left, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a dentist. That's not what I'm here for. You know what I mean? This though, you can time it out a minute on each foot morning and night when you brush your teeth. So you can kill two birds with one stone uh, and or not if you're not into violence. And this literally has changed the game in my foot health and it has made such a difference moving forward in my soccer career and I can feel it when I'm playing on the pitch. Like the foot strength, the looseness, um, it helps with all aspects. So get a spiky ball, ladies and gentlemen. Get a spiky ball. Ooh, such a good sound. Okay, update number... Two, update number one is that the combine that I went to, the trials and stuff down in Tulsa, Oklahoma, went very good. Uh, there is lots of movement as far as contract negotiations go, and I'm very, very excited to move forward with a couple teams, potentially get into some preseasons um, or sign even before that happens. So I will keep you guys updated, obviously. Uh, if it's in Tulsa, you guys know at least one of the teams that I've been trying out for, uh, and and they were very impressed. So we'll see that way. Um, we'll see if we go to a different club. But again, it's all love right now. It's all about working hard, keeping my head down, making sure that I get do all the right things this off season in the next month or two, while I go to other trials and other opportunities and really keep my head down, grind, and get that contract. Because you guys know I've been working my ass off ever since I got surgery. Well, even well before that. But since I had surgery, I've been swimming a ton. I've been doing all my training. Everything is put in place. My mental game is super strong. My tactical awareness is really good right now. So everything is moving up and, and everything is going to be done right. Uh, diet, all that stuff. So cheers to the next couple months of absolute gorgeous training and with that being said let's hop into the gym So I just got back home and things have gotten exceptionally better 
in the last like hour. I realized because one of my meetings got canceled that I am able to go to a training session and I'm gonna drive to the ferry, get on the ferry at Bainbridge Island and then drive all the way to Bremerton to do a training session with a goalkeeper, a friend of mine, and then a couple other guys, hopefully get tons of crosses in. I'm hoping I can film. It is being run by a trainer who I don't know, so we'll have to kind of figure that out, but very excited to show you uh, the, the ferry and that whole situation. And we'll talk more on the ferry about some other updates that I've got for you guys, which are very exciting. So let's, uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm gonna try not to film so that I can focus on driving and getting there, um, but then, then we'll be there and we'll be on the ferry and then we'll be golden. So I just gotta get to the ferry first. All right, talk to you guys soon. All right, friends, we are in line for the ferry. Ooh, there's a little bomb dog. Look at him go. So we are in line for the ferry and I'm very excited to have a great training session. This is just product of having a busy schedule and running around all over the place. Um, obviously got a great lift in this morning and really looking forward to have some crossing and stuff. I think one of the things that I wanted to work on from the combine was doing a lot of the uh, my service and delivery. So that's something that I absolutely love. It's something that I take pride in, um, but it's also something that I really want to work on. So that's going to be a huge focus for today and it'll be fantastic. So I'll see you guys on the ferry. Maybe get some cool B-roll of uh, some, it's cold as shit out outside today. So we'll see how it goes, but I'll try to get outside for the ferry, show you guys what the scenery is like here in the Northwest. All right, guys, what a fantastic session that was. I didn't get a chance to film because we were doing, uh, I was doing it with a new trainer and usually with the new trainers, I don't really like to film that much, um, but you guys got to see the drone footage of the field, which was awesome. It was such a beautiful time. It is, uh, look how gorgeous it is outside right now. Absolutely stunning out. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Fun little S2000 there, love that. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an idea of what my lunch slash, I don't know, like late lunch is. It's very delicious. So I got rice and veggies, chicken and eggs. This is very standard. Uh, if I have to go out, this is what I usually will get. So that is what it looks like. Super delicious. Got a little protein shake over there as well, but so, so, so good. Lots of good protein, making sure that I get that uh, post-training. You want 80% protein, 20% carb, and then the opposite is true for before training. So 80% carb, 20% protein beforehand. I think I got that right. Little bit of update. So I have been wearing the X Speedflow Pluses in training, which have been awesome. I've really liked them. I don't think I'll use them for a game just because there isn't that much grip on the inside. So I've been a little bit bummed with how the inside feels as far as that goes. Uh, I obviously really, really love my Phantom Venoms. Um, I'm actually considering keeping one or two pairs. I know I had a few on sale online, um, but I'm definitely reconsidering that just because of how good they fit. And I'm sort of like, hmm. Yeah, we'll see how they go. And then I've also been wearing my Tiempo 9 Elites, which I love. Those boots are so comfortable. They're so light on feet and they're just fantastic. I've got a couple more new pairs that I've got coming in um, or that I have already in my storeroom that are that are, that are are awesome. They're ready to go. Um, they're boots that obviously are not in the rotation right now. So that's something exciting. Um, and yeah, we'll see kind of how that, how that goes. But yeah, really excited for this ferry ride. Uh, I probably won't get any shots because I'll just go up to the top and have some fun with it, but that's it guys. 
I'll talk to you guys when I get back home to Seattle. It has been a beautiful afternoon. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. So I'm gonna get some food too. I'm very hungry. All right, talk to you soon. All right guys, there's absolutely no wind noise up here, which is so nice. We're on the ferry on our way over to Seattle. It is absolutely stunning outside, as you can see behind me. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful way to end this gorgeous trip over to uh, Bremerton. Oh, goodness, it is bright. Um, yeah, life is good, man. Let's see if we can get this to chill out a little bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, life is good. Look how gorgeous this is. So this right here is Bainbridge Island, and then where we're going over that way, as you saw for some of the B-roll, is um, the city, Seattle. So the trip is about 30 minutes, so pretty straightforward. Um, and once we get home, I'm gonna get some stretching in and grab a quick bite to eat with the missus. So that'll be fantastic. Um, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. One of the, if not the most fabulous way to recover after a long day of training is a bath with any sort of salt. Uh, Epsom salt works really well. You can also get ones, this one has like essential oils in it so it eases aches and soreness from muscle pain. Super cool. Relaxes body and relieves mind. Made in USA. Uh, Dr. Teal's, what else is in here? So it's Epsom salt, fragrance, eucalyptus, leaf oil, spearmint, and a couple other things I can't pronounce. Yeah, super nice. Great way to recover. Enjoy yourself a nice bath after a long day of training in the freezing cold. All right, fam, that is it for the video. Uh, the rest of the afternoon has been very mellow. I'm absolutely exhausted from travel today and all the stuff that was been uh, has been going on, lots of video production moving forward. I know there's been a ton of boot reviews recently. A lot of the times I'll do that so that I don't have to focus on filming while I'm in a trial-like situation. It's really important for me to be super focused during that time period and be able to take downtime if I want it and I need it. So that's been uh, the reason why there's so many boot reviews recently, but there's gonna be a lot more vlogs uh, sort of in and out as I am doing more off-season training. So you get lots more vlogs, lots more Q and A's, that kind of stuff. Um, with that being said, let's start a continuous Q&A down below. I really like that idea. I saw that on Become Elite's channel, Matt's channel. Um, so let's do that. So questions down below and then I'll answer them in the following video and we'll do it that way. That's it for the video guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.